When I arrived, my mom asked me to shell some beans for her. But I thought to myself, Mom, I had finished school and everything, thought I was all of that, that I don't shell beans anymore. <laughs> but I also thought to myself all the times that she had shelled beans for me without question, why couldn't I do the same thing for her? So I wrote the following poem as a tribute to my mother, but I think the message is universal and it's entitled Shelling Beans. Y'all ready? In a small southern town, not too far from the one that you no longer claim, I recently visited my mama. I needed to get away from the maddening crowd, the boastful talking aloud, that I am no longer what I once was. I left that back there just because. I needed to see my mama's face. Behold the originator of a race. You see, in the grand scheme of life, mine was clearly without strife. Had not come that small town mentality, embrace big city formality. I was a giant among men, degreed and all too big to fall. I want to let my mama know had become all that and more. In the kitchen there she sat, big, beautiful, black and fat, smiling from ear to ear. Her baby was on too long and he'd been gone. God's done come, old cousin Essie snickered. You see some of her boys have been in jail, so jealousy all the time flickered. Mama, in a loud voice I proclaimed, for you, the world I've tamed, I'm bigger than big, bolder than bold when I walk. My way is paved with silver and gold, so ask me, Mama, about the places I've been and the people I've seen. You need some money. Here's yours. My pockets are filled with green. Come, son, she said, in a voice both nice and sweet. Come sit here at the table and help your Mama while she's still able. Child, what a day I've seen. Grab that sack and help shell these beans. <laughs> Mama, I said, with an incredulous voice, I came back here by choice. I've been out walking with kings and queens. I don't remember anything about shelling beans. You see, shelling beans is for the common man. I gave that up when I left the land. So ask me, mama, about my plate of riches. You need a new dress. I'll buy you one laid with gold stitches. She looked at me in her wise old way. Although I did not know exactly what she would say, I knew that it would contain the wisdom of the ages. You see, she had lived a good life, therefore her life book was full of pages. She said, son, don't you ever forget, no matter how big you get, that life's about more than being able to walk with kings and queens. Life's about remembering how to do the common and simple things like shelling beans. You see, shelling beans is a time on a task. And if you don't remember how, then I should have never asked. For it means that you've forgotten that true wealth comes from the fruit of the earth, from any place else. What is this real world? Mm -hmm. So my son, tell me your story. Is it only of the riches and the glory, or is it also about remembering how to do the common and simple things like shelling beans in addition to all that you've seen? Mm -hmm. Mama said, in a sheepish voice that trembled, but not by choice. I do remember, I do remember, so I grabbed that sack and helped shell those beans, and we shell for we don't like hours, it seemed. Yet on that day, I didn't mind shelling beans because I shelled them at the feet of a queen. Thank you very much.